Uh, Cologne. Hey, Bill, I'm a 33-year-old young man. I say, I say young because I don't own a home or have kids. And while that doesn't make a man, I certainly, it certainly makes me a young boy man. Yeah, I know. You're sort of extending your adolescence. I, I did that for a good 40-something years. I recently ran into my ex's friend, and we started talking about everything that happened. Uh, she had questions about why we broke up. After a few minutes, she asked me about the cologne fight we got into. I barely remembered it. We once had a conversation where I said I'm not into it anymore, and I don't want to smell like other dudes who bought the same I didn't think much of it, but apparently she thought it was a red flag that I didn't want to ever wear cologne. She told her friends I was immature in that way. Why is it a red flag to not wear cologne? I told her that cologne was for college kids and dads with office jobs and that cologne was immature for people wearing it. Her friends laughed and agreed. She said that my ex has brought it up more than once. I said, oh yeah, three years together and that's all she has to say? That sounds immature. Her friends laughed. I even said, shit, there's better ways she could... There, There's better... Wait, shit, there's way better things she could have complained about. Her friends laughed even more. I need your opinion on cologne in general. I also need you to tell me it's okay that I asked the friend out for coffee to laugh some more. We're hanging out next week. (laughs) Um, I don't know. It sounds like you hit it off with her. That's funny. She said that my ex brought it up more than once. I said, oh, yeah, three years together, and that's all she has to say? That sounds immature. Her friend laughed. I even said, shit, there's way better things she could have complained about. Her friend laughed even more. I need your opinion. Uh, My opinion is you're going to start banging her, and she's going to end her friendship with her ex. That's what's going to happen. My feelings on cologne? Um, Cologne to me is an old guy thing, and I love old guys that wear cologne. There's something funny about them. They're still dyeing their hair. They got fucking a gold bracelet. Uh, the guy that has the hanger next to me where I, where I got the helicopter is, uh, he's a cologne guy. He's a fucking badass dude. He used to fly in the Israel, uh, Israeli uh, military. You know, he's got a really fast plane and he has a fucking Robinson R44 and he has this little helipad that he tows it on. And when I tell you that helipad is just, has got one inch on either side, you know, or you're going to fall off that fucking thing. And he lands it on there like a champ every time. And he wears cologne, and I think it's great. As a young person, I don't know. I'll forgive you if you're young, but if you're somewhere in between college age and some old guy that used to fly for the military of a country, uh, yeah, it's pretty cheesy. Um, I would say if you want to smell good, just go with a really good smelling lotion. You know, it's good for your skin. It keeps you wrinkled free. You look good. You smell good. You got a little glow going, but it smells more like, uh, it doesn't smell like you have a van and you're going to try to fuck her on a waterbed. I think cologne turns a lot of chicks off. I would think, unless their dad had it. Um, Then you get into all that weirdness. Whether he paid attention to her or not, they're going to be, you know, I've just been chasing that cologne smell my whole life. Or like, I'm a daddy's girl. All right, Wife bitching about nudity on TV. Dear Billy bitch bastard motherfucker Burr. Jesus, you just went with the cursing me out version here. Hang on, I can drink some water. I'm still dehydrated. Linda Billy Blair over here. Uh, My wife, you know what? Food poisoning is really the poor man's colonic. I'll leave it at that. Uh, My wife recently threw a fit at me watching the HBO series Ballers because of the amount of female nude scenes. She asked me to stop watching it in front of her, uh, did not respond to, to my asking if she preferred I watch it in private. Oh, did not respond to my asking if she preferred I watched it in private and went on to on a whole tirade about society objectifying women and told me I just watched the show because I want to feel what it's like to be built like a shit brick house like The Rock and be able to get any chick I wanted like him. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why you watch TV and movies. When I was growing up, that's the whole fucking reason you watched it. 
Burt Reynolds, all of those guys. They were all good-looking guys. They had mustaches and cool cars, and all the women wanted to bang them. And I know all of that has gone by the fucking wayside, but I guarantee you, to this day, if there's a good-looking guy and he's pulling off a mustache and he's in a cool car and he feels good about himself and he's not really paying attention to the hot chicks, they're fucking drawn to him like a magnet. It's just, it just is. It is what it is. And don't let these feminist fours and fives, these mediocre-looking chicks, try to mind fuck you and tell you something different. It is what it is. Hot chicks will always like a cool guy in a cool car who's not really paying attention to him. All right, I told you I wasn't in charge of casting. I told her I wasn't in charge of casting, unfortunately not able to choose actresses she found unattractive slash non-threatening. Ooh. I mean, you went, you went right for it. I happened to fall out of interest with the show anyway, since it's basically just Entourage, which I love, not saying anything bad about fucking Entourage, uh, with athletes instead of actors. Also, it's basically Entourage with athletes instead of actors. Um, is there a way guys can win this argument, though? It seems the only way to win it is by having it, is by not having it all and changing the topic ASAP when it comes up. But wanted to seek your wisdom for better methods that allow men to feel like they still have balls. Socks and Bruins suck. Go fuck yourself. Well, the lovely Nia just came in. First of all, Bill has no wisdom, so I don't know why you're asking him for any kind of advice. No, look at you. <laughs> Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Come here, Coming gorgeous. Hot. 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 Coming in hot. Um, all right, so. What's happening? This ki- guy was trying to watch Ballers. With The Rock. The Rock, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess there's a bunch of nudity in there. Yeah. And his girlfriend got all upset. Bunch of naked bitches. Yep. <laughs> 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 yeah, she got all upset saying this objectifies women and you sure. just you just want to watch this show because you want to see what it would be like if you were built like a brick shit house or a shit brick house, however the fuck you're supposed to say it, and got to bang any chick you wanted. And I was like, well, yeah. yeah that's- I mean, isn't that, yeah, isn't that why he's watching the show? Isn't that why everybody watches the show? That's why my whole time growing up watching movies would be like, what if I, I was watching it like, what if I was good looking and knew how to fight? Yeah. And what if I that. knew how to make supermodels laugh and throw their head back as they kick their foot up? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't. I mean, that's probably why he's watching it. So what's the problem? Oh, he's just like trying to figure out how to watch his show in peace. The problem is he thinks that she's just, you know. She doesn't like him looking at those girls on the on a TV show. That's what it is. Because they're better looking than she is. Let's not go there. But, you know, I'm sure she feels some kind of way about him, you know, watching that. Yeah, sure. OK. So what, so what do you think? About what? Should he be allowed to watch? He can watch whatever he wants to watch. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think she should try to stop him from watching it. I think he needs to find a different time to watch the show. That's probably a better idea. Just watch it when she's not around so you don't have these arguments. Do you live together, though? Is there no way that you can watch? You can't watch it on your phone after she goes to bed. (laughs) (laughs) Rolled over on the other side so she can't see the light glowing from your phone. Three in the morning watching ballers. Three in the morning watching ballers (laughs) in secret. I actually, I think that's a great point to bring up to her. It's like, am I really going to have to watch ballers at three in the morning on my phone while you're sleeping? Yeah, just let me watch. But I mean, yeah, and her, I think she's, yeah, probably doesn't like the fact that I never watched that show, but I'm sure, yeah, because it's about athletes and that whole lifestyle. I think it's athletes. 